Haven't done a car chat in a while. How cute. The highest bidder. Been taking some time to organize my stuff here. <laughs> Jay got a swamp cooler going on. Impromptu barbecue. <laughs> She's being a good girl, huh? Yeah. She's just hanging out. Stop watching him. We're just enjoying the summer night. It's like a good 79 degrees right now, so I'm enjoying looking at the garden. Although I really want to do a lot of stuff in the garden, but I'm here to relax. It was good, folks. It was good. Yep, we're still out here. We have the lights on. Still about 76. Nice. And little lights going on. Ooh, I gotta put the other one over there on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do you hear her snoring? <laughs> this morning I'm doing my nails. I'm doing like a light pink. I don't know if that shows up or not. I'm really liking this, but I'm noticing that the trick is to go really light, 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 light amount of the color. And just take your time, especially with these lighter colors. Doing this side with my left is going way better than the other side. The other side, I was still trying to figure it out. But I'm really liking this gel. Again, if you guys go check out my other video about my manicure and the company Nail Addict, there's a coat there. Really liking it. I'm gonna go next door to my neighbor fam. There you are. <laughs> Joyce, she had followed some YouTube video of creating some type of painting and um, it seemed pretty interesting. So she just sent me some pictures of their painting. Oh, speaking of painting, hold on before I forget. It didn't turn out too bad. That was like a real squirrel moment. Okay, let me go over there. I got my phone so I can watch Queen G. I'll be right back, kitty. Whoa. It is like 84, 85, it's climbing up. Oh, and look at my tomatoes. Have all these little babies going. Look at these, aren't they so cute? Lots of flowers coming around too. So yeah, they're, <laughs> they're really still going pretty strong. And it looks like I'm also gonna get some strawberries. All right, come on, D. Concentrate. <laughs> Into the neighbor fam. That turned out. Oh, look at wow! Oh, no, look at my six people. My little Wally. They were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they were drunk. <laughs> How cute! Oh, really good. I like how it's so different, and yet it's it's the same. And you're doing it with, you know, paintbrush, but Q-tips cool. yeah, and there. aluminum foil. Wow. Oh, and this thing, this, this causes the rain. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the, the rain. rain. That's, that's the rain. rain coming down. Or snow, maybe. Probably snow. More like rain. So, so is that going to be your next one? I don't know. Oh, I don't like the colors of that one, but... Wow, that's pretty cool. The highest bitter. I like this red color. Oh, wow. It's, it's that's what you guys did? With the Q tip? Yeah. So it's Jay Lee. If you look up some on YouTube, Jay, Jay Lee. Lee paintings, if you Jay see one you like, then we can, you know, we can get together and we can do it. Vanessa's comment was, I love the moon. This is the umbrella. <laughs> Uh, that, the moon. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, I'm making progress here. 
kitty wants to come out. Come on, kitty. All right. Now this is the time to kind of been taking some time to organize my stuff here. I really like this. I stored all of my starter little containers there. And now I'm just going to figure out where to put all of my soil out at. I'm thinking about maybe storing it in that big old tub there. That way I can stack everything. So here is going to be the B4. <laughs> and and then I'll show you the after. It is getting warm out here. So I'm going to hurry up and try to do this as quick as I can. Okay, got rid of that. I got rid of where the strawberries used to be. I stored it right there. Placed all of the extra soil there because I think I might use that one. The, um, like maybe for radish or carrots. So I just left those right there. I think I'm going to use those. Or I just might use that one. Maybe just that one. I'm not too sure. I organized all of that. So that looks a little bit better. Now I just have to finish sweeping and all that. And I gotta figure out what I wanna do with those two things. But all in all, it was a good cleanup. Very good. Oh, and I gotta replenish my hummingbirds. All right, let me go inside and take a break. I jumped in the pool next door because it was hot after doing all the gardening. So now I'm just gonna try to do everything I need to do in the oven, including and also bake some cornbread so before it gets really hot it's already getting uh it's gonna be like 88 today i'm gonna take out the cornbread Ooh, that looks seriously good it smells delish too look at that that and that all done well jay is finishing up with the ribs we did an impromptu thing we're gonna eat outside <laughs> Jay gets a swamp cooler going on. I think it's gonna work. Our neighbor fam next door, they're waiting. They're gonna come over and then we're just gonna enjoy our first meal together. Super excited. <laughs> it's only like 90 degrees out here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at Whoa. this. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, to watch them play, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. She's over there. Or it. We don't know what she is. If it's... I, we keep saying it's a she. She's very... It's a very kind cat. We had a really good time. We had about 11 people. It was our neighbor fam, our bubble. All in all, it was really good. Jay's pork ribs was really tender, really good. Everyone loved it. They took some home. So now we're enjoying the uh, swamp cooler and enjoying the weather. It's still about, what do you think, 85 maybe? Steady. Ooh, it's still very warm. Like taking off a bra and if you're a man watching this well you wouldn't know how that would feel but you get the picture right we decided we're gonna grill up some hamburgers tomorrow so I needed like hamburger buns lettuce for that and then I also wanted to get some grapes gosh they are so expensive it was like ten dollars uh, for a bag of grapes but luckily I had like three dollar off coupon so but still that's kind of expensive for grapes holy moly man but I had coffee and what else did I have? Avocado for my soup and salad this week. We've been eating so good since yesterday was Labor Day and we had the neighbor fam come over for an impromptu barbecue. Haven't seen each other done that for like years. So I think it was like two years since we've done that and we used to always have them over for barbecues and game nights. We just set up folding tables and folding chairs in the backyard and we just made it a lot of fun. We played corn, the cornhole, the beanbag toss game. Uh, let me see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> 
multitasking people. Let me know in the comments down below if you did anything fun for Labor Day. Labor Day, is that crazy? Just been doing laundry, bills and budget and Jay's home today. So he's been helping out with the laundry and Queen G. And now we gotta go out to lunch, it's getting a little later. Haven't done a car chat in a while. I hope you guys are all doing well. You guys are following my vlogs and my videos. I felt like last week I was just on the go, on the go, on the go, trying to film and edit and edit and edit. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back into my YouTube channel, into a rhythm, a groove what I like to call it, just share with you guys. Like you guys know, I'm a total variety channel, so I do everything. <laughs> With vlogging, cleaning, cooking, decluttering. Need to still film my, my meal plan. I've got to do that. So you'll probably get a meal plan for next week, I think, because I do want to include some clips of, you know, me cooking. At least share a recipe, I think. I do like those what I ate, is it what I ate or what I cooked all week? videos. Sometimes I can get into those videos and then sometimes it just makes me hungry, man. My mom, Queen G, she loves watching like Food Network and all that. <laughs> I do too, but man, after a while I'm like, dang, I'm hungry. And I just ate, so I try not to watch those too much throughout the day. But my mom enjoys watching those. I guess it just calms her down and it's not too much to think about, you know what I mean? And it's something that she can follow. Caregiving side of everything has been a little stressful. Uh, like today, I had another impromptu sponge bath. I'm trying to look at it at a different viewpoint of saying, well, you know, it happens. And I was about to give her a sponge bath later today, but hey I was just telling like I was telling my mom it's okay I was planning on giving you a sponge bath anyway so why not just do it now and at least we don't have to worry about it later on today so just like right now we're gonna go out and have lunch a dinner again since yesterday we did the full-blown you know barbecue entertaining hostessing today I'm like I don't want to cook <laughs> I just kind of want to relax Plus we have um, a painter coming over about somewhere around 4.30 today. No, a roof person, that's right. I have a dry rot situation on the side yard. I have two estimates, hopefully today, between 4.30 and 5.30. So that'll give us plenty of time to have a dinner before that. And then when I come home, there are things that I wanna get done too. I need to update my planner. I haven't really been in my planner this week, so I need to make sure I start putting certain dates because I've been making some appointments and other things. So I really need to get my planner situated. I know there's like, she's in the apron planner. It's blowing up all over YouTube right now. <laughs> I saw that. I have not received one, nor have I purchased one. Will I? I don't know. If you have and you like it, let me know in the comments down below. However, I am trying to use the caregiver planner that was sent to me. So there's that as well. Between that planner and all the other planners that I'm working in, my notebooks, my to-do list, yeah, I'm staying on top. At least I'm being productive. I'm staying on top of things, prioritizing, organizing my thoughts. And one day I really need to sit down and just do a brain dump. I feel like before I start getting anxiety or getting overwhelmed sensation. I like to do a brain dump every now and then and just put it all on paper. And then from there, I like to categorize it and then prioritize it. Oh yeah, where was I going? Oh yeah, caregiving, back to caregiving. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed and stressed. I just feel like I have all these things that I wanna get accomplished with my mom, like her physical therapy, her doctor's appointments, her follow-ups, all that. Her neurologist appointment went really well. Like I told you, I like those type of appointments because it's only like five minutes or less <laughs> with the doctor. There's nothing's really changed, which is good, but he wants to do a EEG, which is basically kind of watching the brain waves. So that's going to be interesting because she's not going to relax. I say, oh, we have him in a nice dark room with some just soothness of the quiet. I'm like, yeah, that ain't going to work for her, but we'll try. 
Like I have to have, I have to be positive and think good thoughts about that. So he wants to check on her brainwave. Um, the other doctor, he wants to do a CAT scan or an MRI on her again, cause it's been a while. So I think we're gonna have to do that as well. But the neurologist was saying, well, let's not do any of the tests until maybe in the beginning of next year, only because the spike in the you know what cases so he's like it's not worth it he says let's just wait I totally agree I totally agree she's been getting a little agitated though lately and I think it's just to the point where we're trying to hunker back down at home we're not going anywhere we're not doing certain things that we used to and even though certain things are open like they had an arts and craft fair like the harvest festival if any of you are on the west coast we have this harvest festival tour that goes through different counties and we always go to that but this year even though it was open to go i just made that decision for us not to go i didn't feel comfortable enough to be in an enclosed ballroom kind of deal to shop or to look at arts and crafts i just didn't feel comfortable because i knew everybody was going to be there we also had an antique fair that we could have went to but i decided again no so there's all these different things and events that are happening and I'm just not letting us go. I just feel like it's just too soon, especially with the spike in our state. And then also to the fact that there's heavy smoke and haze and it's just not healthy. It's just not worth it for me, nor for my mom's life really. So I decided, no, let's just stay home. So we've been doing a lot of just hanging out in our backyard, trying to entertain her that way. Like tonight, I'm hoping that maybe when we get back from our lunch or something, we can maybe play a game of Yahtzee. And I think with her, she's kind of getting depressed because she's getting anxious, you know, to go out to do things. Her favorite thing is to eat out. And I'm like, we can't eat out every night, mom. <laughs> you know, first of all, it's not safe. And the second of all, and I'm like, that's just a lot of money, you know, and we make perfectly pretty good meals at home I would say but then again I hate saying no to my mom because then she kind of gets like I said she gets a little frustrated and uh yeah <laughs> it's one thing of being a caregiver and then it's one thing to tell your mother no <laughs> you know what I mean like the roles have changed with us before I am mom can I go? No. You know, and then I would get all upset because she wouldn't let me hang out with my friends or let me go to the mall or something like that. And now here the roles have changed where I'm telling her no. Okay, so there's like nobody here again. <laughs> we just get so lucky. This is uh, our pizza place, our pizza hangout. Except for we got one person over there. And that, how do you like their pizza? It's good. It's good. I was facing all the sunlight. You can guys all these all the oh, yeah. coming on. These to have all the vegetable plants right here, but they're pretty much all gone. There's the end of the season. You get your mums right here, but it's just too early. And these will probably end up dying because it's just too hot. Mm -hmm. ah, how pretty though, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty colors? Yeah, this is a pretty uh, orange. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking pretty scarce. Not that many plants. Oh, look at these. How pretty. Seven. They look like little bells. Seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Thirty-seven. But those are kind of different. Yeah. And they have all the soil. Ooh, they have the ferns.
Oh, look at the hydrangeas. I used to love my hydrangeas because different color and everything. Yeah. Every month, you yep. Know, it was a different color. Mom used to have these in our front of our home, and then she had these colors too. They were huge.